Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch on this uh, fairly pleasant uh, late to mid October 2023 day, and we're doing a quick walk around video on this extremely pleasant 2022 Auto Trail F Line F60. So, Auto Trail uh, been going since I think about around about 1980, uh, one of Britain's biggest motorhome manufacturers. They're owned by the Dragano Group these days, along with Auto Sleeper, Adria, Showtime, Roller Team, Benema, and everybody else, it seems. Um, they are a very traditional British manufacturer building uh, luxurious motorhomes with a British twist as a comfortable lounge and decent kitchen, which is so often lacking in the European vans. So the F Series was introduced, F for Ford, introduced in 2020. Um, based on the Ford Transit and they've been very very successful and the F60 is the baby of the range but probably the best selling one it's the six meter uh, with an optional drop down bed so it's a bit confusing with these F60s you'll see it's a 5.99 meter um, not narrow body um, full width so it's quite spacious uh, but with the option of a drop down bed so you can have these either as a twin sofa lounge two berth no drop down bed have to make up your bed or you can have them like this which I think this is about the most desirable spec you can get and it's got the optional electric drop down bed which you can either stop halfway make a bed underneath or bring all the way down uh, and it's got the L shape sofa with seat belts I would imagine most of the ones with the drop down bed do have the seat belt option in fact I'm not even sure if you can get a parallel sofa um, drop down bed option who knows anyway based on the Ford Transit you'll see a wide variety of colors this one is in this really really fetching uh, metallic sort of mid to dark blue it's so nice to see colored vans with fear sort of discontinuing most of their nice colors like the Profundo red there so nice to actually see manufacturers particularly building coach belts and giving us a choice of having colored cabs instead of gray or white or silver like everything else so based on the Ford Transit front wheel drive two liter turbo diesel this is 130 horse power which will be absolutely sprightly in fairness to it but it is a lie to the six speed fully automatic gearbox now that two litre engine uh, it's a, actually a Peugeot Ford co-development silky smooth super quiet great linear power delivery it's a lovely lovely engine combo and it's been out for uh, for a wee little while now uh, since 2017 in fact uh, Euro 6 with add blue for your low emission zones so looking at the spec wise we have a little walk around so we've got front fog lights obviously the metallic colored paint wheel trims not alloys but always add alloys to it heated electric adjustable manual fold mirrors obviously central lock-in and it's got most of the auto trail trademark kit so you've got main hook up there there is a solar panel up on the roof there the leisure battery obviously uh, we've got water fill up point down here under slung fresh and waste water tanks which are drained off through there good size gas locker you'll get two sort of six kilo bottles into there and it's a nice big door with a decent sized locker so easy to access now coming around back of the van it's pre-fitted for a bike rack now in this instance the customers actually transferred it onto their next van but we could fit you a bike rack there if not we'll, we'll add the little blanking plates that go on there toilet cassette locker high level reversing camera up there which feeds into a Zenec uh, double din Bluetooth DAB stereo system I think it's got Apple CarPlay it is voice activated and it does sat nav as well so coming around to the near side it's got the optional two-lay roof mount awning fridge vent for your very large three-way fridge freezer little LED awning light there and we've got a barbecue point factory fitted there which is neat this is a real good size storage lock. It's a six meter drop down bed van, so you're not going to get a garage, but they have managed to build in what is quite a decent size space. Will you fit your chairs in there? Depends on the height of your chairs. You might do. You'll certainly get all of your other sort of um, leveling ramps and bits and bobs like that in there. Barbecue. You've also got access to underneath your side sofa here for more external storage. You've got leisure battery in there. There is room for two if you want an additional one, but it would sit on top of there. Now have a look at the window sheet. I've done this in the wrong order. We always look at the window sheet first, don't we? So it's 2022 Auto Trail F Line F60. Uh, it's got the drop down bed. This is the four berth, four seat belt option. Three and a half tonnes, so you can drive it on your car license. Payload should be pretty darn good with this as well. 
2 litre 6 speed auto, just under 1700 miles from new one owners, it's barely been used but has had its habitation service done on time last year. It's 5.99 long, 2.35 wide and 2.9 tall which of course gives it the headspace for the drop down bed. Price is a competitive 61.95. I've just internet price checked this and it's hard to tell because there's a variety of manuals and those without uh, the drop down beds out there but it seems to stack up to me very well price wise. Have a little look at the cab spec before we go inside the van. So Ford always been popular with UK drivers and the cab spec is excellent. So we've got Remis concertina blinds on the cab windows. We've got auto headlights, leather bound gear stick and steering wheel. That lovely auto gearbox which you can blip up and down the gears using that button if you want. Powerful air conditioning, we've got that big, very nicely integrated uh, Zenec sat-nav system um, with DAB, Bluetooth for all your phones, things like that. And uh, the reversing camera, if they do it the same way as Shoson do, that will be wired up permanently live as well, so you can use it as a driving camera. Um, cab windscreen blinds, uh, traction control, and something that says mode there. don't know what that does. So yeah, that's excellent. Steering wheel controls for your cruise controls, twin swivel cab seats, and for the motorhomes, the Fords are normally ordered with the fly-off handbrake. So that's currently on, but it's in the down position to take it off, pull it up, and it often means you can swivel your cab seats over the top a little bit easier. So we'll jump inside the van now, condition check on the outside, I and mean, it's gone straight on the pitch this one, so it needs a wash off, but as far as I can see, it's pretty much perfect condition double glazed windows all the way around so we've got a centrally locked is it centrally locked maybe not centrally locked habitation door or is it yeah no it is it's got these bits here so that should be centrally locked habitation door auto trails trademark umbrella little door bin a uh, decent size electric step and a pull across fly screen door there So, lighting, lovely, spacious, comfortable, typical British van. Pretty much a flat floor, front to back. Uh, there is a very, very small, as you can see, step up into the cab there. Um, but the overall ambience is very nice, modern, comfortable. You've got these greys, which everybody prefers these days. And it's a really nice place to be. It zoom out a little bit there. Plenty of floor space, and it's only six metres. It's amazing, so it fits loads and loads in. So, having a look around, let's have a look at the kitchen first. Really good kitchen workspace. Nice big light up splash back. Uh, socket for the kettle. Big LED strip lights. Big storage there. Oh, look at this. Solar selector button. So you can pick whether you want to charge your leisure battery or your engine battery. That's very neat, isn't it? I've not seen that before. Normally they'll either do uh, one or both, but this one you get to choose. We've got the concertina blinds and fly screens, which are chasers, so you just pull one down and the other one down. Three gas burner hob with electric ignition. The Thetford duplex combi oven and grill, which you'll see in so many vans out there. Does a fine job without taking up too much room. Deep storage cupboards. Oh, nice. Wow, look at the size of that cutlery tray. You can take a whole dinner service with you. That's rather neat. Good size storage under there and there as well. So kitchen very good. Opposite the kitchen, we've got your big fridge freezer. Three-way fridge freezer. I would imagine it's auto energy selecting. Yeah, it is auto energy selecting. So that will self-seek gas if you're not on the mains. Mains if you're on the mains and flip to your engine when you start the engine. And that's a really good slim line but super tall fridge freezer with a good size, fairly deep space there for your freezer. Quick release forward facing TV bracket, so nice when people actually take the TV off the bracket instead of taking the whole bracket out and leaving holes in the wall, that is the bane of my life when people do that. Freestanding table, now all the other European vans out there will have a big cumbersome table. Now the reason they do that is because you can drop the table to uh, make up the bed, but that means you've got to have a table of that size and sometimes they don't fold, a lot of the time they don't fold. So whereas this has got way more floor space in a typical sort of English manner. Ooh, what's this? More storage. Yeah, another storage cupboard down there. 
Now coming into the big attraction of this van of course is the lounge and the drop down bed. So this one's got the optional seat belt. So you've got two forward facing seat belted seats there with the L shaped sofa and you can remove that panel there. You could put a storage box underneath of there uh, for when you are using it. You've got the big side windows and a panoramic roof light over the cab which opens as well and still usable bit of storage around the side there. Now come bedtime, it does make a double bed, full size double bed underneath for guests, uh, but obviously your main bed will be this one here. So you press a button, hum the Thunderbirds theme tune and you can drop that down. Now as with all six metre vans, if you want to drop it all the way down you've got to take your backrests off which I haven't done but it will come down so these are just above there so your bed height will be about sort of yay much basically and you've got it doesn't look as big as it is but it is a full size double bed which is slatted underneath with safety nets now if you want to travel with guests you've got this uh, ladder here and you can stop that bed halfway down and uh, make a bed underneath double bed bunk bed style if you have an argument you can do that as well you also got an opening skylight above there and a reading light at that end. And plug sockets. Are they plug sockets? I can't see. Oh, no, so you've got the main socket down there for charging your phone when you're in bed. So bringing up the rest of the way up, that's working in, in rude health, which is good. What's that? Now, where are we up to now? So, equipment wise, as with a lot of British manufacturers, they use the Northern Irish and in fairness some European manufacturers, they use the Whale heating and hot water system. Now that is actually a system that's bolted underneath the van so it saves space and space is critical in a smaller van so you haven't got a Truma combi boiler taking up the room. It will run off gas or mains electric, it has a 3 kilowatt uh, option for the heating and the hot water. It is actually two separate units as well so uh, being pessimistic if your water goes down your heating won't and vice versa. Very, very simple auto trail control panel, thank God. No stupid touch screens or anything like that. So you've just got an outside light, inside lights, gauges for your leisure battery, vehicle battery, fresh and water, no waste water tank gauge, fantastic. You can select whether to run off your engine battery, I don't know why you would do with a leisure battery, and turn your water pump on and off. Another storage cupboard underneath the fridge down there. And coming into the bathroom, remember this is six metres, it's got a belting little bathroom, isn't this cool? In fact, it's not little, that's the thing, this is bigger than most. I like the styling, it's modern without being sort of in your face. We've got a uh, skylight up there for ventilation purposes. Decent sized storage cupboard there and a big one up here as well. That's not too wide, but what you're going to put in there, shower gels, perfumes, things like that. Nice little sink and a good size separate shower without a hanging rail why do they do that give us a hanging rail in the shower however there's no blown air heater vent in there like there is in some i suppose but you've got a good shower with a little rack there for your soap and things and a door that will just come across and a nice led light up above it we've got your wardrobe space which is a good size that's over the top of your external garage space had a tall thing could you remove the bottom of that and have taller things and loaded from outside I don't see why well, you couldn't but at the same time I don't know that you could that's a double bed infill bits for the front TV aerial booster point is in there as well let's turn that off I don't know how to turn it off oh no ah, there we go turn that off good size hanging rail that's it really, it's a lovely little van, it's immaculate, it's as good as new, it's automatic, it's got the optional seat belts, the drop down bed, it's got a solar panel, it's got a two way ceiling fan there to draw in air or draw out air, it's got the TV bracket, the TV air or the solar panel, the sat nav, the cruise control, the reversing camera with Bluetooth and all sorts of things, cab blinds, it's got the automatic gearbox and it's an Autotrail F60 2022 with under 2000 miles at High Ridge Motorhomes Devon. Uh, give us a call, 01626 832 792, or um, do other things. Call direct on the mobile if we're doing videos, 07432 662558. Check us out on the Hybrid Caravans website, or come and see us at the Devon branch just off the A38 South Devon Expressway at Newton Abbott, and ask us about this beautiful Auto Trail F-Line F60. Thank you very much.